Welcome to the ultra realistic Minecraft house build battle versus my best friend Keith. We each get 30 minutes to build using these ultra realistic texture packs. Time to start now. I am thinking we need to build each room or each section in mind with a nether based mob. Check it out. We got ghasts. We got blazes. What else we got? Oh yeah, we got magma. Wait, is it? Oh, dude, why? Are they called magma slimes? I feel like I should know this after my many years of playing Minecraft. I just haven't encountered one in quite some time, okay? I also find it very funny that the Preston Styles merch I'm wearing right now is the frozen fire and we're in the nether. Hopefully it doesn't melt. I think we'll be okay though. What other mobs are in the nether that I'm totally forgetting about right now? Oh, wither skeletons and the very much so classic zombie pigment. So, though, are you kidding me, Preston? What are you trying to do? You're trying to sabotage yourself here. Zombie pigment for the second time. These are the five mobs I'm gonna try to build in mind when building my house. I'm going to try to replicate this. I think having a twin gassed house would be so cool in the nether. It's just gonna be very difficult to build, so bear with me, okay? So the first thing, looks like we need some white wool. Let us get some of that gray concrete powder. I'm just guessing at this point. I've got no idea how wide these gas heads are exactly, so I'm looking at it and I'm trying to count it out. I think the legs are one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is so hard, okay. This might not be the smartest thing that I've ever tried to do inside of Minecraft, but dad gummit, I'm gonna try to make it work. Okay, you gotta try things once in life in Minecraft, okay? We are gonna need to use white wool for these sections of the legs that are floating. So we're gonna put this right here. I think it goes up each time by one, two, three, four. This might end up just being one ghast. Uh, guys, I need you to leave a like down below on this video right now because I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to build this. I mean, I am going to try my hardest. Harder than I've probably ever tried in my entire life. Actually, I'm gonna give myself barrier blocks because I don't like how the, oh my God. Preston, are you trying to lose this challenge right now, Dad Gummit? What I was trying to say is I gave myself barrier blocks so I could place them underneath. Okay, and then this is happening. This is just going terribly wrong. Now that we've cleaned up the mess, I think we're gonna be good to go. All right, this is looking good. I I'm not gonna say this is looking great, but it's looking pretty good. I think the gas is about yay wide. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna build the box for the ghast first before we do anything else because I don't know how to do this. But I do know that if we manage to pull this off, it is going to freak Keith out and we might win here, ladies and gentlemen, in this ultra realistic Minecraft nether house build battle. It is just very difficult to pull all these things off. Maybe what we should do, we could build the eyes of the ghast out of these glowstone blocks. That would look really cool. This is just some temporary light I'm putting on top of my ghast so I can actually see. Wait, guys, this actually looks really cool. Oh, this looks like a ghast crown for the king ghast, which rules the nether by a fierce force. So right here in the middle is where the eyes go, like approximately, I wanna say, that looks pretty good. So for this one, we're gonna use black. No, no, no. No, no, we're not gonna use black wool. We should probably use red wool for these eyes. It's gonna make it look so much better in the long run. We'll see how that one looks. If you don't like redstone, we can always change it later. So, and then the gas, which I feel kind of bad, but the gas always have tears in their eyes. So we gotta build a little bit of a teardrop going on over here. I don't know if these red eyes are doing it for me, chief. The red eyes, if anything, are kind of creeping me out. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a professional Minecraft builder audience. Is it me or does I think they need two red eyes? I think one red eye is not enough for our ghast. That looks a little better. I don't know. <laughs> okay, maybe this doesn't look good. Maybe what we're going to do, we're going to get black wool. We're going to just save everything. We're going to get black concrete powder. Put the black concrete powder over here. That way we've still got like the drip drop. Finally, we have something that is actually looking like a gas, ladies and gentlemen. I am so proud of myself right now. This is looking really good. This might be my best build ever in Minecraft. I'm gonna take my magical wooden ax over here. Position one, and then I'm gonna do position two because I want to center up the King Ghast. And that is very close to being centered in the middle of our build arena. This is looking so much better. I'm so glad that we went through all the extra effort to do this. I'm gonna use my magical wand over here and do a little bit more. Actually, wait, can I do a cube? I might be messing up the size right now, okay? <laughs> I don't know exactly how big our friend the Ghast is, but I do wanna build like a kitchen interior inside of the King Ghast with maybe like a 
ladder going up. Something really cool like that. But now that we've readjusted the size of our gas head, we're gonna build all the way back down here. Now I'm gonna stand right here, do position two, set walls. We're gonna do Minecraft white wool. And how does that look? Oh, this actually is looking really good. Okay, we got the perfect cube slash box that we were looking for. Now I'm going to copy these two sections over here. Now, are his legs even? Yes, his legs are even. We will need to attach more legs to the bottom because I think ghasts have five legs. Wait, do we have a gas spawn egg so we can see? We do have a gas spawn eggs, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, what? 17 minutes? Has it really been that long already? Wait a second. Yo, ghasts have way more legs than I realized. Listen here, guys. You need to- I'm gonna have to butcher you. I'm sorry. No! When we did the walls command, guys, we ruined our eyeballs. Oh, no! Okay, you know what? We're, we're fine. I fixed the eyeballs. Looking good as new. Now, one thing I noticed is that the ghast has, like, he's kind of got these, like, cute little eyebrows above him. Using code PIZZAPARTY15, you get 15% off any Pizza Fire merchandise. Go to PrestonStyles.com and check it out. Good news over. Hold on, we can't, we cannot have a ghast that doesn't have a mouth. That would be just very strange and would look very awkward. Oh, I like this. Dude, he is a very handsome looking ghast if I do say so myself. Then the ghast have this little like striped pattern on them. Kind of like they're a lion or a tiger. Oh, I was using the wrong texture block. There we go, that's looking better. Dude, I can't see anything. I'm gonna need to place glowstone blocks on my ghast, otherwise I cannot tell what I'm doing. Now, I'm pretty sure over here, the ghast obviously has other things on him. I don't know if we have time to add that. So instead, I'm gonna work on the ghast's crown because I feel like the crown is one of the biggest selling parts. Wait, if I set this, hold on, set, wait a second, hold on. Hey, there we go. Okay, we finally used the world edit command and managed to not break our beautiful little king guy over here. I'm gonna continue the crown. I don't know the pattern I am going for with the crown on my ghast, but I do know it looks super epic. Speaking of epic, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be epic gamers, do me a favor. If you're watching this on a device, turn it like this and make that red subscribe button gray and enable the bell notification so you guys and gals watching never miss out on a brand spanking new video from myself. All right, the crown is looking very juicy, if I do say so myself. I'm very much so happy with how it is turning out. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to the crown though, just a little bit more detail. Yeah, this needs to go a little bit higher because this is the middle section. Yeah, much better. Okay, except for the fact these glowstone blocks look like he's got a pimple on him. How do we light the gas where we don't have these problems? Oh, we also need to add a ladder and extra legs because right now it's a little awkward seeing our gas only having a couple of legs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him two legs right over here. We just gotta build this up. I think four high is going to be perfect. Place down our white wool over here. These are gonna be different sized legs. Oh, this looks kind of awkward. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, I have managed to find a way to make this look much less awkward and I'm very proud of myself. I'm not gonna lie. He was looking a little bit rough with how we did the uh, the previous leg design. Now he's looking a little bit better. We now have a full fledged King Ghast right here that we are building with. I do need to find a way to shine more light onto his face. Set glowstone. Yeah, now his crown is fully completed. It would be really nice if we had extra time to add in like some jewels on the side of his head. That would be awesome. We just don't have the time. So I'm gonna add a little bit of random blocks to the side of the gas. Cause as we all know, our guests, they got a little bit of gray inside of them. So I feel like if we don't add a little bit of texture to our gas over here, it's gonna look a little bit strange. And I've been very proud of how our King Gas so far has turned out. I think the legs look pretty good, but I also feel like they're not looking so good. So now that we've gotten a little bit of texture on the side of the gas, I will get some B-roll for you guys just like that so you can see how it looks. He is looking so much better than he was before. I'm gonna get a couple more polka dots in the side of him. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys are liking how the gas is turning out. Personally, I'm thinking he looks pretty good. 10 minutes remaining. Our King Gast is not finished. We are going through the King Gast 
as we speak. This is what it looks like on the inside. Now, what I want to do is I want to make it look completely original on the inside, if that's even possible. And what I mean by that is I want to make it look like super, super epic in here. I don't even want it to feel like you are inside of a King Gas. So I'm going to place down a couple of torches. Here's the problem, though. We don't have a lot of space to work with. We are going to be making a small little staircase in the side. So when you come inside of our beautiful modern gas home, if that's what you want to call it, I don't know how high we want to go. I have never built a modernized King Gast house. I didn't even think this is what I was going to be doing today, to be completely honest with you guys. This is what a loft design looks like. Basically, there is like an incomplete second story, and it looks really cool. So it's like the house doesn't have a whole lot of separation inside of it. This is common with like a lot of apartments, condominiums, cool stuff like that. And I think it is going to work out perfect for our King Gas design. I don't know why I'm manually placing all these slabs. I can literally just use my wand to magic everything inside, but we're not gonna talk about that. We do, however, need a fence. We need something so that when visitors come over to our house, don't fall off and die. Let me tell you something, guys. 30 minutes is never enough time in Minecraft to build. It's just it's plain and simple, not enough time to build. This might be one of the sketchiest lofts that has ever been built inside of Minecraft, but it's mine and I like to call it home. So do not judge me. Time for us to get to work on the bedroom. Now, because we do have a gassed room, I'm going to build my beautiful king bed area out of these awesome beds because they look, actually, you know what? I'm going to bring them out by just a little bit over here. The obsidian with this texture pack looks so good. We'd be so silly not to use it. I'm gonna make like a little back wall area, a little, little bit of shelving too. We could put down a nice little torch like this bad boy. I, I did not spend nearly enough time on the interior. What are we at right now? Guys, we are at five minutes remaining. So do me a favor, if you guys didn't know, if you get to one of my videos in the first 60 minutes of it being uploaded, you have a chance to have your comments featured right here on the screen. So get to a brand new video as fast as possible if you want to have that chance to have a feature. Going back down to over here. Currently, this is our loft area. Now, I'm thinking about adding a small fence so people do not hurt themselves. Or do we want... Oh, why do I like this design so much? Would you look at that? Preston's becoming an architect before everybody's eyes. And he didn't even mean to. We got to do something about the lighting here because I think the hardest thing about our house currently, our lighting situation is absolutely bonkers. So what if we replace part of the design of the floor with glowstone blocks. We could spell out a P for Preston. It doesn't look half bad. I like it. So we've got the P right here, which lines up with the beds. Now that we've gotten the bedroom done, we've got to do something about the kitchen space. Okay, like there is literally no time, no room for error, and we are just running so low on time. Can we make like a diamond, uh, a, a diamond kitchen with a diamond kitchen inside of it? Wait, we haven't even added an entrance. <gasps> How could I do this? Maybe we should make the entrance right here at the bottom. Ooh, you know what we could do? Wait, hold on. This is gonna be a little bit strange, but we can add ladders to the back of the gas legs and that's how you get inside the house. Yeah, this actually looks really cool. Wait, do we get a trap door? Trap door is on the ground? Yes! So we've got very limited time. We've gotta build the kitchen as literally quick as we can. I don't even know if I have time to even choose the right blocks, but I like this cobblestone. The cobblestone is looking very, very nice. Huge! We're gonna do like this little L kitchen space over here. It's got that nice open design. So when you come into the place, the first thing you're gonna see is going to be the kitchen. Then we're going to have the countertops over here. We need some cobblestone slabs ASAP, baby. Yeah, look at that, baby. Got those cobblestone slabs going around the whole thing. We need stairs because people are going to need to be able to eat down here. So we're going to put down the stairs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this come over one more. It's going to be a large kitchen. All right, that's all I'm going to say. It's a very large and in charge kitchen like your boy P-Dog. So the iron block in this mod does not look like a regular iron block. This is supposed to be our refrigerator, but I think that it is turning out to be something completely different. But we do not have... Wait, why did we not use this for the trap door? Hold on. Why did we not even think about that? So how do we want this glowstone to look? Because like we've got the, the giant P above us, which everybody can see. We need more lighting. This is not even near enough lighting for the house. Maybe if we use some like spruce fences, we could potentially make this work. I don't know. Guys, over the staircase. Yes. A little bit of hanging lights over the staircase right there. Not looking too shabby if I do say so myself. We still have no restroom. So if we have a guest over, 
they're gonna have nowhere to use the bathroom. And we still haven't even placed down cauldrons. I'm gonna try to get the cauldrons down as fast as I can. We're going with that big triple sink. Then we're gonna get the blast furnaces on top. We're gonna need some extra cabinet space as well. We're gonna have this just go all the way around, connecting to, from, and now over the refrigerator. I like that design a lot, personally. Dispensers will be our pretend dishwasher that we'll put right over here. No! No! I wasn't done! Well, Yeah, welcome, yeah, welcome, Preston, welcome. what do you have? What do you have? Fly up here. Do you Ooh. notice anything different about this gas from regular gas? Wait a second. I didn't even realize this was a gas at first. What do you mean it you didn't totally realize it's a gas? Sense. It literally looks it's, just like one. Yeah, I know from this angle, but I haven't had this angle yet, yes. Preston. This Look, looks so good. See, it looks just oh like a gas. Oh, Whoa, okay, geez. okay, okay. I'm gonna butcher that. that. Okay, so sorry, loud. Sorry, I forgot how loud gas are. So this isn't any gas key. This is the king gas. Woo! Yeah, it right. Does look really good, Preston. He's this so is handsome. So check it out. Come down here, Keith. Now you may approach. The ladder into my house. Okay, okay. Climb okay, up regular. Don't be a pleb. I'm, come on. I'm, I'm come climbing on. up. I'm climbing up. I'm climbing all right, up. All right, come outside. So, I Ooh, I like that trap door. Very 30 nice. minutes, Keith. 30 minutes. Not enough time. So, by the time I finished the outside of the gas, it was like 21 <laughs> minutes. I had like okay. nine minutes on the inside. My gas house. He says um, nine minutes on yeah, the inside. I, I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I built a lot. This okay. Kitchen so, looks very good, though. This is very <laughs> cool looking, honestly. It was, like, it was, I got the, the, the lights above the staircase. This is the loft with the bedroom. I also love your fridge down here. What is that, a $50,000 fridge right there, Preston? <laughs> it is my uh, double as a vault and a refrigerator. You got the glowstone Ooh. key with my gas themed bed and my <laughs> up shoe. Dude, you peed all over the floor up here. I though, did. I, I, peed, I peed on the floor a little bit, but I, I gotta admit, my pee looks pretty good. That is my video. If you want to see Keith, go to his channel. Click either one of these YouTube videos if you want to see more Preston Minecraft.